In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use the Notion Web Clipper using seven different examples. We're going to start off with simple web pages, YouTube, Wikipedia, Twitter, and then using links databases, which is one of the most powerful ways you can use the Notion Web Clipper. Then we're going to cover off how you can use it within your mobile app. And then finally, using Gmail, which not many people know about. And we're starting right now. So the first thing I want you to do is go on to Notion.so. A quick point to note here, if you're actually logged into your Notion through your web browser, then this page won't actually open. So what you'll have to do is sign out of your Notion and then navigate to this website again. And hopefully you should get to the Notion homepage. Once you're on the homepage, I want you to go into the download section and then I want you to click on Web Clipper. Once you're on this page, it should give you two options. One is to install the Notion Web Clipper on Chrome and the second one is to install it on Firefox. So unfortunately at the moment, the Notion Web Clipper is actually limited to these two browsers only. So if you're not currently using either of those, then I suggest you actually download that now. So in this case, I've already got Chrome downloaded on my PC, but for the purposes of this tutorial and just so that you know, I'm going to use the install for Firefox feature. So let's go ahead and click that. You should have this page open up. Now in this case, it gives you two options. One is to download the file, i.e. the web clipper straight away. Or if you haven't actually got the Firefox web browser, then it gives you the option to be able to download that. In this case, I actually don't have this installed on my PC. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly show you how you would actually go about installing Firefox. And then we'll come back to this page and then we'll download the web clipper. So let's go ahead and install Firefox. Once you're on the Firefox page, you should just simply Simply click download Firefox then you should see a, a file appear at the bottom of your page we're just going to go ahead and click open file and then click install so once you've successfully installed Firefox then the window should open up like this and now what we'll do is we'll head back into the notion page and see if we can download the web clipper so let's go ahead and click on that we'll go back into the download page into the web clipper we'll click on install for firefox again and this time around you can simply click on add to firefox so let's go ahead and do that you should see a message prompting you to give permissions to the web clipper so we'll just go ahead and say add the next you'll see the notion icon appear in the top right hand corner and you also get a message saying that the notion web clipper has now been successfully added to your firefox web browser so we'll just go ahead and okay got it and that completes the instant installation part of the tutorial. So now let's go ahead and see this Notion Web Clipper in action. So if we take this particular page as an example, so let's say there was loads of additional information on this page, but I'm not able to read this at the moment, but I do find it interesting. So what I can easily do is rather than copying and pasting this text manually into my Notion setup, what I can simply do is click on the Notion Web Clipper icon. And if this is the first time that you're logging into Notion through the web browser, it'll ask you to log in to your Notion account. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do that. So once I've logged into my Notion, then it should open up your Notion within the web browser itself. So now I want to go back into the page that I actually want to save within my Notion. So we'll go ahead into the Notion Web Clipper page that we were on before. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Notion icon now. This time around, you'll see a number of different things have appeared on the page. The very top section is where you can add in the name you want to give the page when it saves it into Notion. The second bit is where you want to be able to add that page and then the third is the workspace you want to be able to add it in so in this case I want to be able to select my productivity corner workspace so I'm just going to go ahead and do that the next I want to be able to say well which page within that workspace I want Notion to be able to save it in. So just to show you what I mean, I'm just going to open up my Notion. In here you can see that I'm in the Productivity Corner workspace and I've got a number of pages within this workspace. So I'm just going to create a new one here and I'm just going to name it Web Clipper. And we're going to try and save the web page into this page over here. So let's go back into the web browser. So now I'm going to click on the icon again and I'll keep the name as is. And in this case, I'm going to add it to the web clipper page that we've just created within our Notion setup. So I'm going to scroll down until I find the Notion page that I want to save it to. So there you go. That's the web clipper. So I'm going to click that. So now we're happy with the name. We're happy with the workspace is going to save this page into. And we're also happy with the page is going to save it into. So the last thing to do is 
simply click save page. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's head over into the desktop app and see what the page looks like. As you can see, within my workspace productivity corner and in the page web clipper, I can now see this new page has appeared. And if I click on this page, you'll see a number of different things. So the first one is the title of the page is the same as what we actually entered within the Notion web clipper, the top part. The second bit is Notion will give you a direct link to that page. So if you wanted to go back to that page rather than viewing it within Notion, you can simply click on that and it will take you straight back into the page. And the third most powerful feature of the Notion web clipper is the fact that you don't even need to navigate to the website because Notion takes the main elements of the page itself and it puts it right there within the Notion setup. And it's all editable text. So if you wanted to, you could simply highlight that, you could make it bold, you can do all the good things you can normally do within Notion, but now everything is within your setup. Now, a quick point to note here is that it's not gonna duplicate the entire web page. It's simply gonna take the main bits of the page or the elements that are related to the article itself. If you obviously wanted to look at the full page, you can simply go and click on the link itself. So that's one example of a page. Now let's just quickly go ahead and check out a few different examples. In this next example, I'm gonna show you how you can use your Notion Web Clipper with YouTube. Now we all know that we go into this rabbit hole where we keep watching videos and, and go deeper and deeper into YouTube. But let's say you didn't have to do that anymore. So this is what I mean. So, the, so I've just landed on this YouTube homepage and I can see a number of different videos. There's one here where this guy has spent a year within a log cabin. That seems quite interesting to watch actually. Um, or I might wanna see an interview with Mr. Bean. Or to be honest, this even looks quite interesting to see what the difference is between a UK and a US McDonald's. But instead of having to sort of go through and watch these videos at the same time, what I could do is, I could actually click in the video and use the web clipper to actually save it within my Notion so I can come back to it within my Notion setup and actually watch the video there in my own time rather than me being forced to, to stay on YouTube and actually watch that video. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna take these three examples and save them within the Notion and show you what we can see in, in the setup. So let me go ahead and click on the Notion clipper and I'm gonna save this page. Now let's go back and open up the other video. Now let's save this as well. And then finally, let's go ahead and save Mr. Bean video. Great, so I'm quite happy with those three selections. Now let's go into my Notion setup and see what it looks like. Once again, you can see the three videos have appeared with the name. So if I click on the first one, you can see that Notion has actually embedded the video with the link that takes us directly back onto YouTube if we wanted to watch the video on YouTube. Now let's have a look at the second example, the UK versus US McDonald's. Once again, it's embedded the video directly into our Notion, so we don't even need to leave it. We can just simply click on here and watch the video. And then finally, this is the Mr. Bean video. So again, I spend a lot of time on YouTube sort of learning different things. And as part of that process, I don't always have the time to be able to watch all the videos. Therefore, the ones that I like and I know I want to be able to watch, I simply use a web clipper to be able to then add those into my Notion set up so I can come back and look at those again and instead of going back onto YouTube and trying to find that video. So let's go into Wikipedia and see if we can find a page that we like and put it into Notion. Let's say we wanted to look at technology and we quite like this page. So let's go ahead and see if we can add this into our Notion setup. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Notion icon. We can go ahead and change the name of the page. So in this case, I'm just gonna change this around. And what you'll see is Notion will remember the last settings that you actually use. So in this case, it's already selected the Productivity Corner workspace and it's also trying to add it to the same Web Clipper page that I had selected before. So in this case, that's really good because that's exactly where I want to be able to put this page. However, if you wanted to be able to put this into a different page, all you'd have to do is click on the drop down and then find the relevant page and then simply click OK. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and click back. And then I think we quite like this. Let's go ahead and save the page. Just going to quickly go back into our Notion. Let's go back into the Web Clipper and now you can see the second page is now here and it's also got the same name. So the Wikipedia appears in the front rather than the back. Let's go ahead and click that and see what Notion has appeared. Notion is displaying within, within the page itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this full width. This time around, because most of the page was an article type page, Notion has actually managed to capture a lot of the information that was on the web page itself which is really good. So that's how you can use a web clipper to clip pages from Wikipedia. Let's have a look at another example. So I quite like this tweet. 
So let's go ahead and save the page. Let's go back into our Notion, click on the web clipper. Instagram and Twitter page has now appeared. Let's click on that. And there you go. Another quick way of using the Notion web clipper to be able to save web links to your Notion setup is by simply using the database link feature. Let me just quickly show you what I mean. So let's say we wanna be able to quickly save the links of all three, three pages. So in order for me to do that, I'm just simply gonna open up these three pages and then use the web clipper and link them to my database. Let's just go ahead and quickly do that. So I'll open up my first page, click on the Notion web clipper. And in this case, instead of add to a specific page, what we can do is in the dropdown, we can select databases and we can do new links database. Let's go ahead and click that and we'll just go ahead and save this let's go ahead and save the other two pages as well so I'll just go ahead and save this one again just making sure that it's added to my links and that is the database and we'll go back and we'll quickly save this one as well Washington Post save this link now let's head over into our notion and see what's happened so the first thing you'll see is on the left hand side menu you can see a new page or a new database page has been set up called my links and if I go ahead and click that, what Notion has done is instead of just creating a page for all the links like we had previously within the Web Clipper page, Notion has this time created those pages inside of a database. So we can actually create different views in here. We can create a gallery view. We can also just go ahead and create a regular table view as well. And we can simply tag different posts. So let's say this is newspaper, this is food related, and the third one is tech related. So I've Find this is another really in interesting way of using links because you don't necessarily need to think about where you want to be able to save the link within your notion because you can just use this as a bit of a landing page a central store with all of your links and then you can simply categorize those or you could link it with another relational database within notion and be able to reference these articles and let's just go ahead and quickly see what they actually look like when we open up the page so just like the previous functionality of the notion web clipper it's managed to give us a title with a date for when we actually saved the page, created the category, given us a link which can take us back to the website, and finally it's given us the main article bits of the actual article itself with all with all of the pictures but without any of the advertisement. Again, I would definitely recommend if you're going through your research or interested in reading articles and you don't really want all the distractions of different sort of pop-ups and advertisement, then this is the best way to be able to read those articles because you're very, very focused and you don't get distracted with other different articles. So it's a really, uh, really, really good productive tip to be able to use it in this fashion. And we can do all the usual things of sort of changing the page format. We, we can also go ahead and create an icon and we can create a page and it becomes a fully functioning page within Notion. But you also have the luxury of actually having a database where you can link and reference and create all the different tabs and things that you want. And I personally really like to use this particular functionality as opposed to using the simply adding articles to a page. Another really cool way of using the Notion Web Clipper is by using it on your phone. Now you may or may not already know this, but when you download the Notion app through your Play Store, it actually installs the Notion Web Clipper with the application itself. So let me go ahead and quickly demonstrate how you actually use it. So let's say we were on YouTube and we'd like this particular video from Steve Jobs. So what we can do is we can actually click on, on the video and then we can click on the share button and then we can scroll across and click on more and then we can go ahead and select notion and then it should give you a very similar screen to what we've been seeing on the desktop notion web clipper the top section is where you would add the page title then you would say where, which page you want to be able to add it to and then what workspace you want to be able to save it to so let's go ahead and change our workspace to productivity corner next we'll go ahead and select the page or the area within that workspace we want to be able to share this YouTube link to. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and click on the databases. So we'll use the my links and then we'll just give it a title and then we'll just click enter. And then you should see this drop down appearing at the top of your notification bar saying that the link has now been saved to Notion. So now let's go ahead and head into our Notion. So we'll simply and we'll click on the link and there you go. That's now saved within your Notion. It's got the title, it's got the date for when you created the link. You can also add tags to it because it's part of your database. And when you scroll down, you can see that in this particular case, not only has it saved the video itself, but it's actually given us the description of the video as well and all the associated links within that description.
So again, this is a really quick way of being productive on your phone when you don't have time to be able to watch a video or read through an article there and then, but you find it interesting, you can simply within seconds file it within your Notion and then you can move on and then you can come back to it anytime you want. And this is what the links database looks like on the, on the mobile version. Again, we can simply go ahead and change the view into a table view as well see all of our associations change the tag we can change the tag to tech and that's how you would use the notion web clipper on your phone so the final cool thing i wanted to show you is that you could actually use the notion web clipper with your email as well for example let's say you had a gmail account and you were going through your emails and you came across an email that you wanted to be able to reference or you wanted to be able to record because it's got some important information in it so you can actually click on the notion web clipper and you can save your email into your Notion setup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. And now let's go back into our Notion. So you can see the email has actually appeared up as a page within our Notion. So I can click on that. And what it'll do is it'll give you a direct link to that particular email. So let's say 10 months down the line, you were you really wanted to find that email. Rather than going into your Gmail, you could simply come in here and you could click on this link. and Notion will take you directly to that email. I personally find this a really powerful feature of the Web Clipper because many times I've got emails that I wanna be able to reference and create tasks off the back of. And then when I'm looking at that task and I'm sort of going through the phases, I wanna be able to sort of go back to that email. So rather than coming into my Gmail, trying to find that email, what I can do is just simply click on that direct link for the email straight from my Notion setup and it allows me to be able to go to that email and look through all the details. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna learn more about Notion, then I suggest you check out this video next.